Hi everyone, welcome back to another interview series. My name is Meher from Newfoundland and Labrador. And today I have the privilege to interview Liki Lavchi from Vancouver, from West Coast. Hi Liki, how are you doing? Hey Meher, thanks a lot for having me on here. Thank you for being here. So Liki is known as the Blind Spot Navigator. As founder and president of the Vancouver British Columbia based Dante Group, He's an in-demand workshop leader and keynote speaker who's passionate about helping leaders break through their personal, unrecognized barriers in order to unleash their full potential. With over 25 years in, in five years as a CEO of a top IT company, Leakey's extensive experience in executive leadership provides him with a unique perspective that enables him to understand the multi-layer of human behavior and how they impact an organization, growth, and productivity. So Liki, my first for question for you is in terms of positive mindset and an open-mindedness, because we know that uh, finding a job can be stressful, demanding, and we need to have kind of a balance and that positive mindset or the mindset of being open uh, from your experience, what tips you have for us? As far as staying positive all the time? Yes. Well, it's interesting. That's a that's a million dollar question, isn't it? Um, yes. However, what what I've learned over the past uh, few years is what allows us not to be positive is what we're holding on to, mm. is our past beliefs that we hold on to. Yes. If we can understand what those are and we can put those aside. And then we can show up authentically, which, mm. you know, as we're, when we were born, we were actually really happy people. Yes. And all of a sudden, things started happening over the years, and uh, we started uh, having different perceptions about our lives. So going back into understanding why and who we are and being authentic mm. allows us to stay positive. Now, there's a lot of different uh, uh, tips and techniques to, to stay positive. Mm -hmm. One of them is having a better outlook on life, staying healthy, eating well. Uh, sleeping well. These are all things that we know are already. Yes. However, we don't do them because there's still our limiting beliefs that are in the way that stop us from being consistently showing up authentically. Yeah. But working through those is going to be the key. And a lot of times people say that, oh, I don't have time or I have family or I have this. So those barriers, do you think that are legit or just an excuse for us? Well, I mean, everybody has their own reasons. Yeah. It's depending on what your priority is. Mm -hmm. And anytime I hear, I don't have time to go to the gym, but yet we can sit on social media for 10 hours. Oh, yes. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, it's up to us. It's mm -hmm. depending on what our priorities are. And not going to the gym may not be a priority for us because it's not important to us. Yeah. However, some other things are. Family is always important. Yeah. But I've also learned that taking self-care Mm. self is probably the most important thing that we can do so that we can show up for others the way we need to show up yeah those are great tips Lucky. thank you very much so for the audience watching or listening for the first time i'm going to ask him a couple of questions and i'm going to post them on a daily basis kind of a journey with us you can like share all the video so mm -hmm. tune in next time for other great questions